My name is Javier Garcia del Valle. I am Spanish. I have 45 years. I was born in Malaga, which is in the southern part of Spain, in the beautiful Mediterranean coast, which is one of the things that I'm missing the most now here in Romania. Uh, so all my life has been very much influenced by my father's job because my father's job is also in the travel industry. So I grew up seeing, I grew up seeing my father traveling around the world. And at one point I decided, okay, I want to do that too. I like to travel. So after finishing my, my university studies in, in Malaga and, and, and the final exam in, in Madrid, I started to work the travel industry, first of all with my, with my father's uh, company, Savitur. I stayed there for uh, 15, 15 years. Then, I started in 2000, in 2000 actually, 2000, on the 7th of January, sorry, 3rd of January 2000. I was hired, I started with an uh, American company called Grand Circle. Grand Circle uh, Corporation is uh, a Boston based company, travel company, focused in Americans over 50. I was in charge of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco for receiving the Americans into Spain, into Portugal, and in Morocco. This, this job I started by going to, to Munich to live there for a couple of months, two, three months I stayed in Munich, in Germany. And then during the four years of the project in which I was in the company, I was commuting almost every other day, I mean, very often to the United States. So I was traveling a lot. My family was still based in, in Malaga but I was going to the United States quite often. Uh, let's say that this nice story of, of the of Grand Circle, of, or better say, of my stay in Grand Circle, didn't finalize well, because as we all know, in September 11th, 2001, Crazy guys crashed the plane into the World Trade Center in New York. Then my company suffered a lot. A lot, why? Because American citizens stopped traveling abroad. I mean, the tragedy was so deep and, and the impact was so high that no Americans were traveling to Europe or to anywhere. Mainly, only into within the United States or nearby countries such as Canada or Mexico or, or nearby countries. So our operation in, in Iberia, I mean in Spain, Portugal and Morocco, where at that time I was uh, operations director for these three countries, uh, moved from 80,000 passengers a year to 8,000 passengers a year. Therefore, all of the all of the structure that we had put in place, all the infrastructure that we had over there to, to run the operation or, or all the system, everything suddenly became too much, too big for the operation. So we start cutting a lot of jobs over there. Actually I had the terrible experience of firing more than fifty people in one day. Uh, and one day, it was my turn. I was fired. I got a call from, from the United States saying, Javier, we want you with us, but unfortunately, the level of your salary is equivalent to, to many others. So, meaning that your salary is one person, and with your salary, we could maintain five, six, seven, whatever. So, we need to let you go. And honestly, I fully understood it. It's normal. 
they didn't need any more my position. Uh, so they let me go. I'm proud to say that I'm still having a fantastic relationship with them. I'm proud to say that uh, several times I heard that they have regret about that decision. But business is business and companies are to make money. So I fully understood, I spoke with the CEO of the group, of the, of the company, and I told him, listen, I would have done exactly the same. So you don't need to explain to me anything. I fully understood. Actually, I would have expect you to take that decision far before. So, in that moment, I, I said, okay, I have uh, a wife and three kids by then, because I have, today I have four kids, but at that time I had three kids. And then I said, okay, I have to do something. I have to feed them. So I, I start up my own company, an online platform, Central de Reservas Costa del Sol. It's, it's a hotel uh, reservation platform focused only on in Malaga, Malaga province and the Costa del Sol. I wanted to specialize, I wanted to, because there are many, many big online travel portals where you can book hotels, but there is no single platform focused in only one city with all the hotels, because if you go to, I don't know, booking.com or you go to any other, you will have, I don't know, if you ask for Malaga, they might show you 20 hotels, 30 hotels. But in Malaga there are more than, I don't know, 500 hotels. So what I wanted is to put them all and to have one specialized website where the others could drink from. And actually it was a success story. I sold it uh, three years after. Um, it worked very well. And meanwhile, was when I was running that company, I also founded a new company with a partner, Raitur. We opened uh, offices in Malaga. I mean, we end up with offices in Malaga, in Beijing, and in Shanghai. So we started by, let's say, opening the Chinese market to Spain. At that moment, was nobody was was thinking in China as a potential market and so we did some, some good operations over there one of them also very proud to say it was the 2005 Real Madrid tour in China we also organized the Spanish Federation of Travel Agency Congresses Congress over there with more than 600 people from Spain to China so big operation, we handled the, the Madrid city uh, presence in China. We were exclusive representative for Spain and Portugal of the Shanghai Travel Mart. And then we expand in Asia, we also were representative of the uh, New Delhi SATTE, S-A-T-T-E, uh, Travel Mart. Uh, also in, in Beijing, the Travel Mart of Beijing for Spain and Portugal. So we were developing pretty nice the, the business. And at one point, uh, a company called GED called me and said, Javier, I have heard your name. I got your name as a recommendation. Uh, we are planning to acquire a company in Romania. And we would like to know whether you will accept to be part of our board of directors. I said, okay. How long will I mean? How much time will it take from from me? They explained to me. I said, okay, fine. I'll, I'll join you guys. So in May 2008, I joined Happy Tour. The company was already bought as member of the board of directors. Uh, so I was coming to Romania once a, a month for two days 
two or three days to, to, to join the board, to do some, you know, to start a bit the company, to work a little bit with management and so on and that was about it until December 2008 in which they request me to, to do some more intensive and more in-deep work in the company to reorganize a bit several departments and so on and so forth in which I stayed, that took me 15 days to stay here in Romania, that was December 2008 and then after finalizing this, this job, this assignment that I, that I had here, uh, well, the management of GED approached me and said, well, Javier, why don't you stay in Romania and run the company? Instead of being only part of the board of directors, why, why don't you stay here and actually you run the company? Wow, that was a shock in a way. Okay. Then I called my wife. Maria, I said, Maria, I have been offered to move to Romania to run the company. What do you think? And she said, I hope you have said yes. I said, well, we don't know the conditions, we don't know anything. It's Romania, it's not, come on, it's not New York. He said, you say yes, let's go, I will see what happens. So that's actually, it's thanks to my wife that I would say that a big thanks to my wife is that I'm here because she supported me from the very beginning. So I came back to Spain. In January we agreed with the conditions with GED as any other uh, job uh, discussion. In February I sold my company to my partner. On the 1st of March 2009 I was started I was starting in Romania. I was relocated to Romania, first without my family, because the kids were in the middle of the school. By then, I already had my, my four uh, child, a daughter. Uh, so I stayed here alone till August 2009. In August 2009, my family moved. Three of my four kids, because the elder one was already too old to come here. He was in his last year of school and we didn't want to that change or this change to affect his studies. So he stayed, he stayed in, in Spain, in Madrid. We, we moved him to Madrid from Malaga and he, he took his last school year in Madrid so that after he could join Spanish universities. And I brought with here, I mean with me here to, to Romania, my wife, my daughter that at that time she was 12, 9, 12, sorry, 9, 10, 11, 12, no, she was uh, 13 at that time. My, my son, he was 9, and my daughter, she was 3. So 3, 9, and 13. Where they, when, when we moved here to Romania. I said, we arrived, the family arrived in 2009, August, and since then we are here. We are very happy to be in Romania, to be honest. We are still having some problems with the weather in winter. We, come on, I'm coming from, we are coming from Malaga, from Spain. When we have a bad winter, a really bad winter, we have 12 degrees plus, and that's really cold. I mean, in some cases we call, we almost close the, the schools because it's too cold. Our average, uh, seriously, our average temperature in Malaga in winter in, in winter is 19 degrees. So when you come here and you have two two meters of snow and minus 24, okay, we are still having some troubles to adapt ourselves to that. On the other hand, it's very nice. You are, I, you are lucky then that uh, happy tour is not in Moscow. I'm very lucky. <laughs> I don't know whether I would have accepted it or not to go to Moscow. But uh, I can tell you as an anecdote that on the first winter I was here, actually I was in this same office 
and I was running a management meeting and at one point I told to my colleagues guys if you don't mind we're gonna do a five minutes break because it is snowing and for me it's the very first time that I'm seeing snowing from my own office because never, I mean of course I've been many times skiing, I like to ski, I have seen many times snowing, I have uh, in, been in Boston while it was snowing, but you know, but when it's your own office, your own, and then you see, you look at the window and, I, and you see the snowing, for me that, that, that was the first time ever. So it was kind of a funny thing to see, well, it's snowing. So, we had a five minutes break for me to enjoy that. <laughs> and now we are here, and now we are here. I mean, uh, we have done to all the colleagues in the company a tremendous job putting this together. You know, uh, GED bought this company in 2007, which was the, the good years. Then suddenly the crisis came, so probably I was I was not lucky enough to lucky enough to to be here on the good years, but on the not so good years. On the other hand, that helped us also to to try to to innovate and to reposition ourselves and to to be better. So as of today, we have uh, GED and Happy Two. We have bought four companies. We have put them together. We have created the largest travel group in Romania. We have uh, 76 offices in the country. We have more than 140 uh, colleagues working with us. Uh, so, we are very proud of the company we are doing. The family is, is happy to be in Romania. We still miss from time to time our son, which is in Spain, but we try to go there from time to time to see him, or he comes to Romania from time to time to see us. Kids are in the school, growing up, enjoying it. So, so far, so good. For how long this is going to stay? We don't know. Let's hope that the economy will, will become better. Um, and, well, GED is a private equity, so at one point we will exit the company. But we don't know when that will be. So what we do every day is to prepare the company for a future exit. And when the moment comes for us to be ready. Meanwhile, hopefully, I will stay here. And, uh, and um, the Finnish uh, told us the main point what, what you think were uh, no, the most important thing for uh, your part, like a bullet point, a bullet list. Well, to me, the, the, let's say, during my entire career, professional career, the things that really mark me was, first, the, my first uh, uh, work abroad, for a short period of time, it was only three months, it was in the UK, when I was still a student, uh, but I was sent, my, my father uh, knew somebody and, and sent me to, to, to learn into uh, a British tour operator. Then my, my, my short stay in, the, in Germany, in the US and, and in Romania. So my internationalization, let's put it this way, helped me to to understand different ways of working, although it were they were short periods, but it helped. Me. I mean, those periods helped me a lot to, to really understand that there are several ways of doing business in each country is different, and you have to take the best out of those. And you see the big picture. You see the big picture. That's exactly. It. And it's completely different the business in Spain than it is in the U.S that it is in Germany or it is in Romania or UK. And also, it's important for me that I had the opportunity 
to work in dif within the tourism industry in different parts. I was in, in incoming, meaning receiving people here and preparing the, the, the infrastructure locally, uh, the tour operator business, the travel corporate, um, so several within the, the tourism, but definitely, the, let's say, the, the, let's say the biggest mark will be my relocation to Romania. That will, there is a before and after, because here is the first time that I move with my family. I said I was in for four years, five years in, in the U.S., but I was one month there, coming back to Spain, then another three weeks there, and then coming back to Spain. But my family was in Spain, so this is our first relocation. Uh, as a family to, to Romania, and of course for us, not only for me as in a professional way, but also in a particular, in a, in a personal, uh, in my personal life, there is a before and after relocation to Romania, and that uh, will mark not only not only myself that it did professionally, but also my family, my kids, the way they are growing up, everything. It's it's a before and after Romania. So definitely that, that will be my, let's say, the, the key point that I will, I will say in my life. Um, of course, everything related to my, to my father, because he was the one inspiring me in, in doing this job, because I saw him doing it. I'm the only in the family that follow him. My brother is, is in a big consulting firm in the, now in Mexico, uh, so my, my, my sister is living in Chile. I have another brother living in, in, in Malaga, but let's say that we are quite international family. So one in Romania, one in Mexico, one in Chile, out of four brothers and sisters. So that's my life. Thank you. You're welcome.